that you are here with me about to watch my thrift haul. One of the first places I went, I found these. Look how pretty that is. I got two of them and it's got this base on it. They were $3 a piece. But my plan is, is to put something on top of it. Then I will paint it all one color, distress it a little bit, and it'll be awesome. And these are pretty heavy duty also. So I got two of those. I'll show you the other one. They are heavy. And then I got these little things. So I thought they would be cute to just throw up on a basket wall. And they're in very, very good condition. They were $2 a piece at that place. I had one of these in one of my last th uh, thrift haul videos, but it was like a big one and it had some pretty like red and green flowers on it. But as soon as I went to wash it, that thing fell to pieces. Ugh, crazy. But at least it was only like a dollar. So no big deal. No big deal. The other places I went, a place called New To You. And I shouldn't have bought this, but I did. And I'll just fix it up a little bit. It's definitely outdated. I'm not a huge fan of this heart, so I might take this out. It's already loose anyways. And I might just add a different board there, but it's just a shelf. So nothing spectacular, but I figured easy to flip and it'll be cute on somebody's shelf. On somebody's shelf. <laughs> a shelf on a shelf. On somebody's wall wall guys Ugh. at that same new to you place i got these baskets i thought they were just a perfect size for a basket wall or even just using this one just somewhere in the house to put little odds and ends in i'm not a huge fan of this green tint that's coming around here but i hopefully have a trick to get rid of that without painting this basket so ho hopefully you'll see that in a, a future video so that was all at that new to you place. And then there's a store just right down the road from us, an antique shop. And I found this there, just a bean sack. It's in good shape. It's a good size. And it was only $3. She had others, but at this point, I just wanted to grab one and see what I can do with it. And, um, and then I can go back later because she did have multiples. So I got that from her. She sells chalk paint and chalk paint brushes. So I grabbed some of that too. Okay. Goodwill guys. Goodwill. I'm sure those ladies in there are like, who the heck is this girl? And why is she always coming in here? Cause lately <clears throat> I'm always going in there. If I'm driving by and I have a spare 20 to 30 minutes, I just go ahead and stop because why not? Why not? So the other day I went in there and found another cloche, but this time I found it with the base. I like that it came with a base and that it's very cute and in good condition. I'll have to figure out what I can do with that middle part. Um, and then I'm just gonna clean it up and I'm gonna leave this one, I believe, as is. It was only $2.99, so yay. So the lady came out that was stocking shelves and she had this in her basket and I immediately saw it and I was like, oof, I got to have that. And she goes, do you see something you like? And I was like, yes, I do. Can I just take it? And she's like, no, I have to put it on the shelf first. But if you tell me which one it is. And so I pointed at it and I said, I want that cloche. And she was like, okay. So she took it out, set it on the shelf, and I just literally walked right behind her and picked it up. There was another lady eyeballing it, and I was like, mm, back off. Not really. She was sweet. <laughs> okay, so then I went to Goodwill again, and I found these, which are going to stay at my house. But they're little placemats, wicker. Some of them seem bigger than the other ones, but I don't care. They're all look in great shape super pumped those are cute i'm always wanting stuff like that but everything is always so expensive when you buy it at the store so if i can get something on the cheap and it's good and good quality i'm like heck yes i have no idea guys 
Oh, and those placemats were $5.49 for all of them. Okay, not sure why I bought this, but I just thought it was super adorable. Little box. Very cute. Very, like, vintage looking. It's probably not vintage. It was only $1.99. So, cute, cute. Got that. And then, let's see, what else? Oh, and then I just went to Walmart and picked up stuff that I'm needing. Um, so, I got some more matte clear Rust-Oleum. I use this to spray a protective coat on all my pieces that I repaint. I also got this spray grip because I have a hard time spraying these dang spray cans. My hands start cramping up and get tired. And I used to have one of these a long time ago. They work amazing. So got that. And it was only like two something. The spray paint is like four something. And then I also got this Waverly Wax. And this is what I'm going to be using to hopefully distress some of my pieces and also some of my baskets. There's a girl I follow. Her name is Julie's Designs and Signs. She does a cool trick with Waverly Wax on like her baskets and her furniture. And I really like it. So I finally picked some up. And it was like $10 for this. And this is 16 full ounces. And then I got us a new shower. Shower liner because ours is gross. So you don't need to see that. Went to the Dollar Tree and got these. Look how flipping cute these are. I picked up six of these because I have some vintage pieces that I've been wanting to do something. I'm nervous that these are a little too small, but if they are whatever. I'll figure something out. That's what I got today. I also got brown paper from the Dollar Tree because I think you could always use brown paper. There's always something you can do with the brown paper. Thank y'all for coming and watching my video and I cannot wait for you to see what I do with some of these pieces. See y'all at my next video.